My name is Rich Harper and I'm a project manager for polylectex.com. Uh, this is a trade name that we came up with uh, basically to help market an idea. We're looking for partners or investors for a project using polylactic acid to make textiles. This is an opportunity to invest in a manufacturing business and this particular business uh, will be manufacturing bioplastics. Here's the problem with petroleum-based plastic. First of all, it's a scarce product. It's not a renewable resource and there are certain places in the world that we get oil from that aren't particularly friendly to the United States and we have politics and wars and things like that. Probably more importantly, though, is the environmental aspect of oil. Um, all the time around the world you hear about a spill, whether it's at uh, an oil platform in the water, uh, oil pipes on land, uh, you know, the transportation of it is tricky, and um, there's so many problems that come with oil. With bioplastics, the, the uh, Basic ingredients are coming from crops like corn or sugar beets or things like that. Um, but even more so, getting back to the problems with oil, is that in the manufacturing process, you're creating byproducts that are toxic, you're creating fumes, and, and the whole process has dangers to it. When you make plastic using PLA, now you're using crop-based materials and the processing alone does not create harmful byproducts there are no toxic fumes and one of the great things is even the finished product if you set it on fire is not creating toxic fumes The market that we're going after is the worldwide textile market. And of course, the biggest thing we think of with textiles is clothing. But other aspects of the textile market can include things like uh, your furniture, your drapes, your carpets, but also the medical industry, bandages, uh, the stitches for sutures can be made from biodegradable plastics, which actually are much healthier. Um, also packaging. The clear packaging that you bring food home from the supermarket, they're now using PLA-based plastic for that. And uh, of course, you know, once again, we have the advantage of a product that's biodegradable as opposed to a plastic that would last in the landfill for a few hundred years. The PLA market was uh, more or less started by a company called Cargill. Uh, they are one of the largest food manufacturers in the world. Uh, they started this company, they uh, actually had a joint venture with another company, and then they spun this off into a company called NatureWorks. And NatureWorks has a, a major facility in Ohio where they process this, and uh, as well as Nebraska. Um, and they've been in the market for 15 or 20 years. They've had some successes, they're in packaging, uh, they make fabric, which, use, which is used for clothing. Um, uh, one of the things, though, is there are some shortcomings to the product that's been out there. And that's what our firm has tried to address these shortcomings and come up with solutions that we think will create a superior product, which will provide uh, many enhancements to PLA in general to be used for textiles. The goal we have is to take the product that we've developed and that we've started manufacturing on a small scale and to start going full scale with a full size factory. And we'd like to build that in the United States. There are many reasons for that and one of the main ones of course is this is one of the biggest consumer markets in the world. And uh, also quite frankly the people in our group just love the United States and would like to have a business operating here.
for the manufacturer PLA, it, it's very similar in a way actually to the brewing process you'd find in a, a beer company. Uh, we are taking an enzyme and uh, using that with the starch from products from crops like corn, and we are creating this compound, the polylactic acid. Uh, and so you'll see vats and towers and things like that, just like you'd see in a brewery. And then from there, uh, the compound is used to make the plastic resin, which look like little tiny beads. Then the, the beads are extruded into fibers, which are used for the textiles and for fabrics. The great thing about this opportunity is that instead of just a concept that's on a blackboard somewhere, this actually has been researched and the development has already begun on this. Basically, we already have a pilot factory in operation near Shanghai, China, which is producing small quantities of the product.